what what have you heard at all or have i don't know if you guys talked about this at all elsewhere on the show um or think there's any credence in the uh the ring of honor i guess drama or potential drama with with the joey mercury stuff because as i was reading through the tweets from this account that claimed to be joey mercury i kept thinking about you conan because one of the one of the claims that seems to be made is that the basically Mexican talent, namely Bandito, was not being offered what this person felt was a fair deal. And I just started having all these Lucha Underground flashbacks reading that. Have you seen right. or heard any of this stuff? No, I haven't. Have you, D.I.? Uh, nothing. No. I mean, I read, I read the Jerry Mercury tweet storm. Yeah, I read something. But I don't, but I don't, but just that, that I don't know. Yeah. Well, so yeah, what, 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 so basically, what's going on? Because, like I said, I don't know. Joy Mercury well, then, went went off on ROH. He came at Wait, this so guy. Uh, is it Greg? Greg something? And I've heard the guy's name before because Cornette, when he left Ring of Honor, really came at the guy hard. So he seems like he's he's, he's a legitimate general manager of ROH for Sinclair. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you mean Gary Juster? No, no, no. It's Greg Gil- uh, Gilly Gillian or something. Yeah, and my my only experience was emailing him. Last year, after so we for last year's Expo Lucha, we had announced Bandito, Jeff Cobb, Brody King before they all signed with with uh, Ring of Honor. And right. so when they signed, I reached out to try to see if we could still use them or you know work out a deal. And the guy didn't even respond to my multiple attempts to try to you know communicate. What so I, yeah, and I and I will say that in uh, you know. Triple A trying to work with ROH in the past. They've always been humongous dicks. But go ahead, boom. But so so this supposed Joey Mercury account. So basically, Joey Mercury quit Ring of Honor, uh, and then he went on, or this account went on a, a, a tirade is an easy way of putting it uh, b- about inequity in pay, about not having the proper medical staff, about rushing people back from concussions. Uh, but one of the, the the part that resonated with me most, and that's why I was wondering if you'd seen it, was in talking about, I guess, Bandito's contract, basically said that the Mercury felt that he was being offered a bad deal and that it wasn't a fair deal compared to uh, you know other performers. And um, the the general manager had said, well, you know, we're 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 paying basically we're paying someone more than. We should have offered them in the first place anyway because they're not going to draw for us, um, which was kind of weird way of, of putting that if you want to keep a talent. Um, so I, I was wondering if you'd seen that. That was that was all. But mm. can't really comment if you have No, seen but it. I think we all know that Bandito's, you know, uh, once his contract is over, I'm sure he'll be very well reimbursed with the AEW or WWE. Yeah, I think that he's he's one of the guys who will certainly stand the benefit from the uh, – the competition in the marketplace uh, right. right now, these days. 